minutes we were underneath the glowing sky red moon the next afternoon we woke you up again and if anything has ever been perfect is the night you took me to see the stars you held me in your arms so long I forgot hey. Day 19 on the JMT, and it was a big one. We put in about 13 miles, but um, came over Forester Pass early in the morning. It is the 10th and final pass that we'll be doing. Uh, goes up to 11, uh, 13,200 feet above sea level. It's the highest we've been on the trail so far, and it's the highest we will be until we start to summit Forest, uh, Whitney. Um, it's also the border between uh, Kings Canyon National Park, where we were, and where we are now, Sequoia National Park. So welcome to Sequoia. Um, it was uh, it's actually not that difficult of an ascent. Uh, the descent was windy, cold, and uh, at the onset, anyways, a little treacherous, with, treacherous with very steep uh, 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 sides to the to the trail, but um, not a big issue. Uh, by the time we got down, at least the the steepest part of the trail, um, we were again hit by thunderstorms. I think John Muir is testing our resolve. We've had it really easy so far, and uh, so he's throwing something at us at the very end. But um, thunderstorm was okay until it turned to hail, and we were pelted by little hail. Um, not so bad, hands stinging a little, uh, again, pretty cold, but not a big deal. That lasted maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, and from what we've heard from everyone, it's very un, uh, infrequent, uh, weather in the, in the high Sierra. So hopefully not too many other people are experiencing the same. Um... But since then, the day has been really great. Uh, we passed through uh, some fantastic and, and surreal scenery. Uh, the, the Bighorn Plateau was uh, a great experience to walk through. Um, barren in a lot of places, just dry, yellowed grass. Uh, the parched, sun-bleached, um, remains of tree trunks, massive tree trunks that uh, made it seem like there used to be a big forest there that just uh, somehow disappeared. Um, it was just an unbelievable walk, a little surreal as well. It's like it didn't belong in, in this part of the, of the world. But, um, yeah, exiting Bighorn Plateau, that's when we got our first real glimpse at Whitney. It was shrouded behind some clouds, but you definitely see it, and we're walking towards it's really close. Um, so that will be on our mind tomorrow. We're only doing, I think, about eight miles tomorrow up to Guitar Lake. It's a meeting point for everyone. Um, and yeah, it's exciting to see them for the first time, Whitney. Uh, I think it will be a little cold up there, given our experiences on Forester Pass, but shouldn't be too bad at all. And um, right now we're just, we've descended from the Bighorn Plateau and camped just across a little, little creek, fresh water. We're getting some sun now. Um, I actually just took a little nap, which was nice because we got in the camp early. Uh, so that was today, day 19. Pretty big one. All right, a couple days left. Getting excited. Uh, it should be a good couple of days. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.